So, how many people here have seen the HBO television show The Wire? Show of hands. Twenty-two of you. All right. Well, the rest of you, my, I'm here today to convince you why you should watch this television show. So, just the background information: it premiered June second, two thousand two, and it concluded um, March 9, two thousand eight. It lasted five seasons. Uh, it's created by the man behind me, David Simon. He's a University of Maryland alum, actually. He graduated uh, in the journalism department. Former editor of the Dimeback, actually. Former editor in chief. Uh, he was a journalist before he became an intelligent writer, and that's actually a common theme on the writing staff of The Wire. Uh, they were all former professions before they became intelligent writers, uh, former police officers, former firefighters, and what that is that they all like, had a really good experience of what Baltimore was like before they wrote the show, so you had a very realistic sense, and that's one of the main themes of the show. Now, the show is about Baltimore. It's really hard to give it like one central plot. It really is more of, like about the city itself. Maybe in the first season it's more like it has more centralized, like just the cops and the drug trade. But by the third or fourth season, you really get the sense of a really broad scope, and uh, that's like it's really about the city more than it is about the people. And it's really more about the city itself and about the people and institutions that make it up than it is about just like one guy trying to conquer the city itself. Uh, but every single season does have an overlying plot arc and multiple subplots within it, so it's not like it's completely neglects the plot entirely. Uh, now, there are some uh, main themes throughout the show. Uh, every single season focuses on one central theme. For example, season one was about the drug trade, season two, the ports, season three, the, uh, the city hall, season four, journal um, education system, season five was about the, uh, the uh, journalist and the newspaper industry. But there also are some show themes that last the entire show series run. For example, it's a very, very realistic show. It was shot entirely in Baltimore. Um, a lot of the writers and actors have ties with the city, so they know the city itself. I, uh, it also deals with the American dream, and is the American dream still alive? For example, you have like characters that are in low-cost neighborhoods that aren't really able to get out. Uh, in fact, season three, one of the main plot lines is a high-level drug dealer trying to escape the drug life, trying to legitimize, legitimize himself, but he's ultimately unable to do so, and it's unfortunate. Uh, and there also is the theme of uh, people versus institutions. I have a quote from David Simon, an interview with Vice Magazine about that. Uh, he said, one of the things we were saying was that reform was becoming more and more problematic as money and interest capitalism, which is the sort of ultimate illusion of God, uh, become more and more entrenched in the postmodern world. What he's trying to say is that as institutions became larger and more money invested, it became much, much harder for a person to really take on the institution and kind of struggle. For example, in season one and throughout the series, you have McNulty, a cop who really just wants to get the job done, but then you have his uh, superiors, the police officers in the higher division who really are just like, we don't really want to get a lot of work done. All we're concerned about is keeping the numbers low, and if it leads to crime being rampant, then that's the way it's going to be. Uh, now, The Wire is well known for its lack of success, uh, very well television ratings throughout the series run. For example, um, season four, one of the more critically acclaimed television seasons of all time, only averaged 4.4 million viewers uh, per episode. Uh, the season five premiere um, only had 3.4 million viewers total. Compare that to a show like The Office, which has 9.2 million viewers on average, so just like give that comparison right there. In fact, season five only happened because season four was so well reviewed, they pretty much said, you can't cancel the show, we have to get another season. And they said, okay, we'll do this last season, but then that's it. Uh, there are some factors that David Simon said led to the, uh, to the downfall of success, for example. Uh, it's a very, very complex plot, uh, very, very dark themes, and for example, the uh, language they use is very, very uh, slang-centric. There's a lot of just like terms that you've never heard before. For example, when I started watching out the show, I was really confused like what's going on. But uh, slowly by the fifth episode, you really pick up on it. You understand what the plot's about. You understand what they're saying. So the, those factors do exist, but you slowly get used to them. Uh, now, it has received numerous critical praise. Pretty much almost every media outlet has said something about like how great The Wire is. Um, in a lot of television, like best of the decade lists, I believe six media outlets named it their uh, top show of the decade. The AV Club, HitFix.com, San Diego Union Tribune, San Francisco Chronicle, uh, Sound Magazine, and Time Magazine, all called the best show of the decade. In fact, Daniel Feinberg of HitFix called it the uh, best cultural endeavor of the decade. So better than any movie, any other TV show, any book, any piece of art, it really the defining cultural work of uh, the 2000s. So just to give you like an idea of the lofty proof that's been bestowed upon it. Uh, now, season four, again, as pictured behind me, is considered one of the better television uh, scenes of all time. 
It's won uh, only one award, a Writers Guild of America award. It's been nominated for many other awards. Uh, it was nominated for two Emmys for Outstanding Writing. It was nominated for multiple NAACP awards uh, because of its portrayal of blacks. Uh, in its legacy, uh, it currently has classes at Harvard. Like There is a class at Harvard and uh, Duke University, according to the New York Post, uh, that teach classes on the wire solely dedicated to that subject. So that's like how legit it is. Uh, President Barack Obama has called this his favorite show of all time. And currently there is a series um, on HBO created by David Simon uh, called Tremaine. It deals with a lot of the same themes of The Wire. Uh, it has some of the same actors as well, set post-Hurricane um, Katrina in New Orleans. Uh, currently on HBO right now, premiered earlier this month. So if you're interested in like, some of the themes also there on that show as well, so you can definitely check that out. Um, now how you can watch The Wire, uh, you can see behind me the DVD series. It currently goes for $130 on Amazon. It's expensive, but I recommend it. It's worth the price. Although if you don't feel like paying money, uh, there's a link above bestonlinetvseries.com that has uh, the same information and the same episodes that you can watch. So, um, I wanted to talk about uh, my personal beliefs on The Wire. Uh, I personally believe it was like one of my favorite television shows of all time. My, I had a history teacher that once said like the autobiography of Malcolm X is a book you have to read if you want to consider yourself an educated person. I believe that The Wire is like on the same level that you really can't consider yourself like a culturally educated person until you watch this show. Sorry, I just really love this show. It's just like the first passion of mine. Uh, but yeah, I think it's like just really gripping, well done. It's just like a really good portion of the American city. Uh, there are some people that don't want to watch it. I've tried to get my mom to watch it. She's like, it's really depressing. It's dark. It's gritty. I don't want to watch it. I want something with a happy ending. If you want to watch something with a happy ending, that's fine, but I would recommend the show. Like, there are very few happy endings at all. Most of the characters don't find success at the end of the road. Uh, but for those that just want a really, really well done and, and entertaining, really well done show, then I can't recommend this enough. I have a quote from David Simon. I just want to end this with him. Uh, it's a letter addressed to the fans. Um, we try to be entertaining, but in no way do we want to be mistaken for entertainment. We try to provoke, to criticize, to critique, and debate, and to rant a bit. We want an argument. We think a few good arguments are needed still. That there is much more to be said, and it is entirely likely that there are better ideas than the ones we offer. But nothing happens unless the shit is stirred. That for us was John Warren. Uh, so, thank you. And I also want to clarify, since it's before, um, the raised statistic was according to uh, Buddy TV. I just want to clarify that. Uh, so, thank you very much.